يوم البعث the day of resurrection brothers and sisters in islam why is it that it's hard for a person to believe that we will be resurrected from death all you need to do is think about some points and i'll give you some points to think about if we think that it is unusual that it is impossible that it is you know something out of the ordinary that we can be resurrected once more to life from bones and ashes then it is a greater it is a greater astonishment it is a it is a greater hardship to believe that we all came to this existence from nothing at all from nothing compare we came from nothing nothing i can even mention allah says هل أتى على الإنسان حين من الدهر لم يكن شيئا مذكورا Did there not come a time on man in time when you were nothing that can even be mentioned and there's no name for it What is it? You were nothing Allah says It's very easy to bring you back after having been created the first time from nothing He can recreate you from something from dirt before you were from nothing, now from dirt. It's easier. Here's another thing to think about. Allah tells us in the Quran, the one who began, Bada al khalq the one who began creation from nothing, the first time Allah says, awwala marra. Is he not able to recreate the creation a second time? We, we can see it in front of us. And there is no room for atheists to have any role in this because we ask them two questions and it should be over and done with if they're smart enough. The first question is, did you come from nothing? Well, something brought us. We ourselves were nothing, but something caused us. And number two, did we create ourselves then? Can't create ourselves. If we could create ourselves, everyone would have made themselves the most perfect being ever. If we could create ourselves, we would have raised the dead again if we had that power. If we came from nothing, well, that's impossible. We were nothing, but something made us from something. So the one who began the creation the first time, Kani, Alaysa bi qadrin ala ayakhluka mithlahum, Allah says in the Quran, is he not able to create a creation like that again, a second time? And if you've never built something in your house, and one day someone taught you, and you built it the first time, you go through hardships. Lots of mistakes, probably lose a lot of money. The second time, it's easier, isn't it? So, this is another thing to think about. Allah shows us in front of us. Allah says in the Quran, many examples. Look at the earth. You might find earths that are dry, have nothing in there, nothing grows. Allah says, then we bring clouds and rain to a land which, is, which was once dead. And we revive it back to life again. And so you see it mukhdarrah. You see it green. The one, Allah says, the one who brings the earth back to life to greenery, easy for him to bring back the humans back to life. We see it in front of us happening all the time. Another thing to think about. Allah says, you die every night. Allah says, he is the one who brings to you death in the night. But it doesn't bring you great death. It's just a minor death for us to think about. For us to have an example of real death. If it was real death, we have no more ch we've got no more chance. So it's just an example. We see it. We witness it. We live it. <laughs> and then Allah brings us back to life. Because the mujrimun, the criminals, and let's say, I repeat it again. When we say criminals, the real criminals are the ones who disobey the laws of Allah who breach the laws of Allah, not the laws of human beings. The criminals on that day will say the following words. They will say, oh, our Lord, you made us die twice and you made us live twice 
So, please, is there a chance for us, for you to return us back again, just to repeat it one more time, so we can have a second chance? Allah says, never. My word is my promise, and I never change. Amatta he made us die twice. What is it? In sleep and in real death. When we were born into this life and we were resurrected again next. So there's two deaths in our life. So woe to the person who doesn't take heed of the times they sleep and wake up every morning. It is an example of the resurrection in the hereafter. Al-Ba'ath, resurrection. There are many hadiths, many ayat talking about Al-Ba'ath that we will be raised, resurrected. Allah says, Behold, Allah takes an oath. You shall be resurrected. You shall be raised. And you will be informed about everything you used to do. Everything. A man came to the Prophet ﷺ once, a, a criminal, a disbeliever, who had a foul mouth and a rude approach. And the Prophet ﷺ, he controls every person in the, he controls the situation according to the person's character which he came with so he said he brought some bones with him and he said to the prophet are we gonna come back alive into flesh and blood after we turn into this and he showed him this you know how some people today when they want to try and prove islam wrong they can't do it intellectually so what they do is they make fun of it and then you get the weak the weak muslims especially a lot of the young ones you know, they get a little bit, bit of pressure when someone makes fun of something, you know, like at school. You know you're on the right track, but they make fun of you. You no longer want to do it. Like they call you a nerd. You're on the right track. You, you got something happening for you. But because they called you a nerd, oh, I'm doing something wrong, they think. This is weakness in mind. We don't want to be like that. So he came to Prophet and said, this? You're going to come back to life after you turn into this? Idham? You know, your bones? Come on. Ar Rasul Sallam. He knew this man didn't want to reason. So he said to him, Naam, yes, Allah will turn you into bones and then he's going to raise you and he's going to put you in hellfire. He said this to the man in reply to what he said. To another man, the Rasul Sallallahu said, who wanted to reason, he said, didn't Allah create you the first time? Because they were believed in Allah, the mushrikeen. Is he not able to create you a second time? So some people he would reason with, who wanted to reason. There were some people who used to say, In here, illa hayatuna dunya, namutu wa nah, namutu wa nahya, wa ma nahnu bi ma'adh, wa ma nahnu bi mab'uthin. They used to say, if this, this is only our life, we die and we live. And if we live and we die, and we are not going to be resurrected. Another verse says, wa ma nahnu bi mu'adhabin, and we're not going to be tortured. There's no, there's no such thing. They used to say, in mitna wa kunna turaban, a inna la mab'uthun. When we die and we turn into soil, you're telling us we're going to be raised again? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replies to them by saying, yes, you will be raised and you will be informed and you will be judged. And Allah gives many examples of the things around us, the purpose of life and so on. Read the Quran, you'll find these reasonings in the Quran. They used to say, our forefathers as well who died, they're going to come up again, they're going to be raised. Allah says, قُلْ إِنَّ Say, all the ones who were in the beginning of the creation and all the ones who were at the end of the creation they are going to be gathered they're all going to be gathered together <coughs> they will be gathered again to an appointed place which is known then he says oh you who are lost and astray who belied our verses you are going to eat from a tree called zakum which we will explain in in later classes and you will be filling your stomach with it he says so a mu'min cannot be a muslim cannot a person cannot be a muslim unless they believe in the ba'ath that you will be raised in the day of judgment